it's been kind of a frustrating morning. Grain markets are down and equipment is just a mess right now. And it is an absolute perfect day to be out planting. And we're just stuck inside. I'm a rolling stone, bound to roam. Come the morning, or I'll be gone. Or in rain, or to hear that train. Good morning and welcome back to Lincoln Creek. We've been having issues on issues. Right now it is perfect weather to be planting. Guys are all guys are out planting right now. And we are just kind of stuck. Um, yeah, you guys probably see a couple new things here. We've had issues with the 9520, and that thing's been down. But contacting the dealer, we don't have another tractor, so I bought a Steiger. We bought a brand new Case IH Steiger 420. It's going to be the planting tractor. We're still going to have the 9520, uh, but we bought this thing just out of rush because we got a lot of acres. And we got to cover a lot of acres here in a short amount of time. And then we also bought a John Deere 8430. It's a 2008. It's got about 3,000 hours on it, so she's well used, but she's just going to be a good old tractor with a DB60. So the plan is, is we have like, we have so many acres in such large fields. We need big equipment. I absolutely love the 8110, but there's some issues with it where the front end lifts up whenever you put weight on the rear. It's just a mod issue. I love it. I'd love to use it, but we just can't right now. This tractor was originally a demo, so it's set up. Uh, we've got, I put climate field view in there. We have field view. We have 2020, uh, and it's pretty much set up it has 300 hours on it so it's close to new but it's gonna be a good planting tractor it's got the three point in pto so maybe we'll use it in the fall a bit who knows well it's tough to see but that should be the 48 row planer hooked up there we'll pull in here usually i wouldn't be this disrespectful pull into a deer dealer with a uh, case but the guy that works here, he's a little crap, and I know him pretty good, so we should be fine. Is anybody even around this place? Doors wide open, too. Maybe Buck's back in his office here. Hey, Buck. Nothing. You know what would be a good prank? I don't know if this is two-point. I should go take his little garden tractor and uh, hook it up to something giant out there like a grain cart and then pull it inside here. Wait, wait, wait. I got it. <clears throat> I'm going to park my Steiger inside the showroom. <laughs> he is going to get so mad. <laughs> there we go. <gasps> oh, but seriously, where is it? Nobody's here. Doors wide open. Nobody's here. There he is. What do you want? Hey, you have that 9520 done, and I need that planner, like, badly. Bud, one, it's Sunday, we're closed, and two, what, what planner? John Deere, all the other John Deere dealers and case dealers are open on Sundays when we're planting. When it's planting season, you guys need to get your butt in gear, man. What is this? Who runs this joint? I do. Well, what the did heck? You not, did you not, do you not read our business hours? We're open 8 to 5, Monday through Friday, and then on Saturday, we're open from 10 to 9. And then Sunday we're closed. Yes, yeah, Sundays. Guys are out planting. You guys usually most dealers open up during uh, spring and fall, a little bit. We have a backup on Sundays, but we charge extra for it. Huh? Gotcha. It's 150 per hour when we're on the road and regular business hours, and it's 300 bucks an hour if we're taking the service truck on the road on a Sunday. Gotcha. Okay. Well, shoot. The door was wide open in there. I just walked in. Yeah, I have Jeff and Nader in there. They're supposed to get the S780 or getting the duels off of it, so they can send that down to Kings. I got to do all that. And they're also taking the molasses thing off the New Holland Baylor in there. They're working overtime. That 48 row planer I was going to purchase from you. Can I purchase it today? No, because it won't go through the systems. Is there any way I could get it earlier? The only thing that I can technically do is if I, courteously out of my heart, take the tractor that I have hooked up to it right now down there and help you out with it. Other than that, I don't really have anything I could use. I can't rent it to you. I can't lease it to you. 
Right now, I can. the only really person I can do is I can run that thing down there. That's about it, but I got a lot of trucking to do. Gosh, okay. Well, maybe we'll just wait till tomorrow, and then I'll come pick it up tomorrow or something. Let me do a few... Just let me do a few little rips around. I got to get this thing off here because I got Like I said, I got to get at least the trick combine in the shop so they can start getting the duels off. Okay. I'll work a little bit on it. The only thing I might be able to do is literally let you use that so I can get my trucking done. Okay. Other than that, it's it's very ba it's it's been it's been we're running the tight ship here. Hey, so my night. Hey, hey, Buck. What? So my ninety five twenty is it done? They got to do one last final swift of it just to make sure everything's done because when I that belt snapped, it threw off the timing really bad on that thing. Okay. We had to do a lot of marks, so it that one won't be ready to go by until tomorrow morning. Hey, hey, one sec. Do you guys have oil? I need oil for hydraulic oil. Do you have any inside there? Uh, you can check the shelves. If we do, then... Where would it be? Or where's it at in there? Um, I still haven't gotten my shipment in yet. Of course we haven't, but... Ah, uh, it's torque guard. Gosh, it looks nice around here. Wow. Oh, thank you, sir. Up, oh, up here it is. It's in this aisle. So we got. Ah, can't even get down here. We got plus fifty. Uh, we got plus fifty. And we got cool guard. Basically, cool guard is where you at? Oh, it's over here. Cool guard's more of a winter grade. Plus fifty is more of a not necessarily a summer grade, but it's just it's not built to really run in the colder temperatures. Jeez. So that's that's what we got at least right now until I get more of a shipment in. Where'd you get all the posters at? These are nice in here. Uh, that's special shipment orders. I had a couple photographers over the past few years uh, with some of our clientele. So those are actual clients that we've had. Jeez. Uh, it's, well, some, of my, some of my real favorites. That actually is a shot from the dealer over in County Line. We, I took that one uh, while we were still over there. Wow. Jeez. That Wood River logo. That looks amazing. Well, thank you, sir. We uh, we definitely we had to get a lot of this stuff specially made. Why is there a Steiger in my <laughs> shop? What? Are you? Why is I, that took you so long to see that. How, how did I not see a massive? <laughs> I. Why is there a Steiger in my shop? Why? The uh, I, door was I mean, open and there was some space, so I had to park it inside. Didn't want it rain, getting rained on or anything. Look at it out, Buck. Say, do you want help with planning? <laughs> but no, seriously, I bought a new stagger, so I had to come and show it off. Well, you definitely got my attention with it very well. <laughs> I'll, I'll back it out, though. I I'll clean right. the dirt off the floor, too. I know it's a little dirty. Won't want that. Okay. Well, while he's doing his thing, I'm going to go and take... Uh, we're going to run the stagger back, because I think if we get that planter, he's going to bring it with his tractor. And then I'm going to go grab seed from the... Pioneer dealer real quick. We got some 1197. We don't have much in bags, but we got some in bags that we can get started started planting here. Move it or lose it, sister. We got seed to pick up. We're ready to roll now. I gotta just jump on down to Bucks, down to the deer dealership, and uh, pick up that planter. It doesn't really matter too much, but what's going to happen is that 24 row planter is probably going to end up being our bean planter, and the 48 row is going to be the corn plant planner i would absolutely love to run like old smaller equipment but these fields i just realized are just way too big to be run small equipment like i want to run i decided to be somewhat of a good good friend and i already got the 9r out of the way for you so you should just be able to hook it up um you might have to do a little bit of tweaking hang on pop out of here quick uh you might have to do a little bit of tweaking of course to get all your dials set in but should be pretty much good to go. Uh, whatever happened to your RT out of Grand Island? I thought you had that tractor. No, that one got taken back. That was just a rental, essentially. But that thing, I didn't like the turning on those tracks. I mean, I'm just not a track guy. I like tires better. All right. Well, as I'm, things are ready to go. I need to get on the road so I can get home before midnight. As to you, with that thing only going probably, what, 26? Mm-hmm. Well... We both got our slow pokes going, so I might be able to, I might catch you on my way back, but uh, say hi to Nate and Jeff for me. Definitely. They already hate me enough. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Buck. Catch Appreciate you. it, man. Have a good one. You too. Don't kill anybody with that setup. I'm trying not to. There's the DB120 we're purchasing. Uh, we're going to purchase it here tomorrow, and we've had it on order, but we just can't get the paperwork done today, so we've had this plan f for a while, actually. Okay, lift, wings, 
lower and electrical and vac we should be good we should have everything hooked up there i gotta go talk to one of the guys inside just to make sure everything's good obviously i talked to buck but just want to make sure they know i'm taking this thanks guys yeah do you guys have a restroom i can use in here it's clogged oh, no, buck did it you serious he does it all the time okay well shoot get her unclogged or something anyways thanks guys i think that's buck back there he must have got a plunger there we go we'll go left wing over there and then we'll go right wing holy crap this is the longest unfold time i've ever seen on a planner there is a starfire glow back there but that's not going to do anything we're actually running ag leader in this planner so that's just for looks i guess okay we need seed and then we're ready to roll holy crap oh i think that's buck too yo buck Next time, don't run out in the middle of the road! <laughs> ah! Hey, Buck, perfect time. I need help loading seed. I think what you need to go is the traffic cart, man. You don't jump out in front of people like that. Watch Hold the mailbox. Up, Watch the mailbox. No. Oh. Woo! Oh, oh, you're causing a traffic jam, Buck. <laughs> I'm on, Tina. I know you can get by. You're not that fat. <laughs> Do not run out in front of an 18-wheeler. Who taught you? Did you go up under power lines as a kid or something? Hey, I wasn't. It's all good. Hey, come help me load some seed here. We gotta oh fill boy. a 48-row planter. I'll help you with a oh. few of them, but again, I got... I can help you more on my way back, because I'm just going to drop off the combine, then I'm done. Toss me a bag. Yep, I'll toss you a couple bags here. There we go. Give me another... Come on. Yep, come yep, on. yep. Feed demon. Keep... Feed yep. demon. Come faster, on, baby. Faster, faster, faster. There we go. There we go. Yep. Come on, buddy. Quicker, bags, quicker, quicker. There we go. There we go. I'm out the top here. Yep. We're good. What, is it pretty much full in there? Yeah. I mean, this one's got a few of them hanging out the top, so okay. you, you should be good. I can help out with anything else when I get back, but I got to at least finish getting that combine down there, and then I'm off work. Okay. Well, shoot. We might fill the bean planter and have you plant some beans then. We'll okay. see. Well, I'll see you in a bit. I'll be about 20 minutes or so. Okay. Sounds good. That's later, bud. Yep. Don't run out in front of traffic. Yeah, don't run over people next time. What the? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to jump in the planner and get uh, get going. Okay. What I'll do here is fire up the vacuum. Yep. Seems to be sucking good back here. Okay, everything looking good. We'll drop her on the ground. We'll just do a test strip right here. Put the tractor in gear. It's planting. Check depth. We'll dig here. Depth looks good. Honestly, everything looks good there. And then we're just going to do a population check real quick. Ah, about six inches apart. We should be good. So we're planting at 34,000 population. And depth is perfect right at two inches. We should be good to go here. We'll start planting a little slow at the beginning while we're doing these end rows here, but then we'll speed it up. Gosh darn, that's a big planter. Holy crap. Holy crap, this thing is amazing. We're planting at eight mile an hour with a 48 row planter basically a high-speed planner essentially and there's that mud puddle we've got stuck it still hasn't dried up there I'm gonna say it I'm gonna say it but we may honestly need triples on the Steiger we're running out of traction a bit on some spots and we're going downhill there even everything's going smooth what I'm probably gonna do is square off the 40 at the fence there we'll knock out this 40 and then we're going to do a 40 on the other side, and this field's going to be split probably between like corn, beans, and some corn yet. It'll be it'll be a little weird. This is a 240-acre field back here, so I don't want to go everything all corn here. Well, we just finished the 40. I'm going to fold her up. It's going to take probably 10 minutes. Jump on Instagram or something quick while we wait. 
And then uh, we're going to get putting this thing away. We'll just park it in the shed tonight, or we'll park it up in the yard tonight. And we're going to hit it hard tomorrow. Well, there we go. Everything's lined up nice. <sighs> oh, but seriously, guys, it's starting to get dark out. I'm getting tired. <sighs> Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys.